Oh, what the? Okay, hello, we should be back. I don't know why the mic settings get reset. It's been getting reset recently. I have to like change it. Alright. Did we sleep on our interface for too long? I don't know, maybe... You look like you just woke up? No, I didn't. So I've been like... I've been manually curling my hair in the morning. Oh it starts God. off very poofy and then throughout the day it like calms down. Because uh, without curling my hair, my head is very flat. Mr. Tim Keyless, hello! No, I showered and like, I curled my hair. It is very raw. <laughs> Looks like a preview of a perm. Yeah, actually if I got a perm, it'd be much worse. Like you can already see it's like straightening out here. Still poofy here, but yeah. Is there an IC for this board? I don't think there is. So this was designed by Mr. Foxbox. You guys might know him from chat. He uh, he might have a couple units for sale eventually, but I don't think this is going to be a really big group buy. This is just kind of a, a personal pet project that he did. And then um, imagine not being invited to this. Thought me and Fox were more for Okay, I I don't get to keep this for the record. I have to return this. I'm just checking it out because I like Fox. And it's pretty cool that he's working on a board, so... <laughs> How are you doing, Mr. Kevin? Also found out last night, Mr. Kevin is... huge! There were some pictures leaked... in the sub discord, I mean, the sub channel. Sheesh, Fox is... I mean, the Fox... Kevin is... Kevin is scary, I don't want to fight Kevin anymore. Oh, Ray too? I saw what Ray looks like? Sheesh, Ray and Fox? I mean, not Fox. Ray and Kevin. Definitely two people you don't want to mess with. They'll beat you up. Mr. Carlos, hello. Are Browns annoying to type on? Nope. Ray can actually break people in half? I know, actually, though. <laughs> uh, let's get to the alerts. Jason MG with the 7 months. Subtle Tuzzle with the 11. Daddy with the 5. Uh, Ray. Rabbi Springpaw, thanks for the 5 months. Hello, Atticus Mizu with the 5, Sloop of War with the 10, Taiko Wong with the 13, Asian Nathan with the 8, uh, Wilfie TTV, thank you so much for the 8 months, Alpha with the 15, Bree, thank you so much for the 9. Yeah. Uh, are they fine for gaming? Yes. You have fog hat hair? Yeah, this made my hair so flat last night. Is it possible to loop optical switches? Yes. What does your logo mean, boy? It's for, up to, for you to figure out. Do you have any idea when the sub... Oh, this is too short. Dang it, I guess I don't use the top. Um, the date for the subathon has not been set yet. But I'm going to try to do it this month. His logo is I-O input output. That's, that's one of the interpretations. You know what the real interpretation is? Actually, I'm just kidding. It's not even the real. <laughs> my, my logo is up for many interpretations. But one of my favorite interpretations being... <laughs> it's a devil fruit. <laughs> So devil fruit turned sideways. Oh crap. Uh, Mirror you with the eight months. Mr. Alex, thank you so much for the 13 months. Hello. His logo is a Russian letter for you. Yeah, I also heard there's a Russian uh, character that looks like it. Is there a good way to decide if I have tactile or Good way to decide if tactile or linear is better for you. I'm tactile gang, but feel like I have FOMO on linears. Yeah, just try out some linears. That's how you decide if it's good for you. No one else... No one else can tell you whether a switch is good for you or not. Or if a case is... Oh, I guess... Hold on, let me think about this. To some degree... People can tell you if a certain if you'll like a certain switch or not. 
But at the end of the day, it's up to you. You have to just try it out and make the decision yourself. It's very preferential. I can I can describe a linear what a linear feels like to you all day if you've never tried a linear, but nothing's going to beat just typing on it yourself. The meetups come back? Yeah, they are. They're coming back. Um, but yeah, meetups definitely do need to come back. Uh, do you know if there is a GMK set with blue accents coming up? Not off the top of my head. <laughs> Let me see. You can check out meggroupbuys.com. They have a list of, a fairly healthy list of upcoming sets. I encourage you to check out meggroupbuys.com. I also think trying one switch is different from trying a whole set on the board. Yes, I also agree with that. Um, a lot of veteran people sometimes might say that switch testers don't really do anything. It's half true, half just kind of generalizing. Definitely between just smashing one button versus actually typing on a full board, it is a much different experience. <clears throat> the topic has been floating around your Discord server, but what do you think about any concerns regarding making sure boards are safe, don't get yoinked? At meetups going forward. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like that might be more of a concern now that the hobby's grown. I don't know how you would combat that though. There have been instances of people trying to steal at meetups in the past, but they've generally always been caught. But now the hobby is more, uh, it's more mainstream. There might be more ill intent coming into meetups. I would say the best thing is to go with a friend. <laughs> if you don't have a friend, make a friend. Uh, I guess you can't really make a friend and trust them on the spot. Ideally, take a friend with you. And at all times, have someone watching your board. <laughs> what friend, Sag? Oh no. Yeah, I don't know how else you would uh, protect your board. What do you mean steal? Peep seriously try to steal at the meetups? It, it hasn't been often, but I do know of... I think two instances since I've been in the hobby where people tried to steal something during the meetup. But it's, it's not frequent. But meetups back then, it was really like just enthusiasts coming together. Nowadays, you might just have like random strangers walking down the street interested and potentially coming into the, the meetup, so. Artisan thieves? Yeah, definitely artisans for sure. They're much easier to steal, so. Um, for all you artisan collectors, if you have anything of value, make sure someone is watching it for you at all times. You guys should have a buddy system rotating out one person goes out to check out what's out there. They come back. The other friend gets to go check out the rest of the meetup. Just hire friends. <laughs> yeah. Would that be a good volunteer position? Folks to keep aware of sticky fingers. Uh, I mean, yes. But how do you, how do you trust the volunteers, right? There's a good chance the volunteers are just as likely to steal as regular meetup members. So I'm not sure if that would be a solution. I mean, it's one step closer for sure. But it doesn't fully solve the problem. I see a business opportunity here, keyboard insurance. That doesn't sound too good. <laughs> how do you, how do you verify a keyboard has been stolen? How do you protect against false positives? <laughs> Is that your real hair? <laughs> yeah, it's my real hair, Caleb. I've just been curling it lately with a hair dryer because my hair has been getting really long. You put an air tag inside it? I guess you could put an air tag inside it. 
But at some point, if they open the keyboard and throw out the air tracker, you're kind of screwed. <laughs> Don't some of them have serial numbers? Some do, but the vast majority of keyboards are not serialized. Uh, Matro B Jack, thank you so much for. Matt Rob Jack, thanks so much for the tip. Please solve a debate between me, my GF, and my sister. How old are you? How old does your GF, your sister, and you think I am? <laughs> Flibble, thanks so for the 13 months. Doxa, welcome back with the 15, 50 bits, thank you. Itchy Amino Acid with the Prime Sub. Water Raccoon with the 19. Dohu with the Tier 1. Thank you, thank you. Nathan, old as F? Okay. Okay, all right, let's get to this build. I don't think Fox is here. He's probably too busy. Taking taking pictures for some famous people. I go. All right, here's a product someone can make. Make a huge acrylic box with two holes or you can only put your hands in. Mmm, but... Eh. But you would need to bolt that. Right? How do you bolt it to the table? Because if you just have an acrylic... I mean, acrylic is fairly light. You can just... <laughs> Oop! You can pull the acrylic thing up. And that's it. John Tram bought things really 11 months. Hello. Uh, Duet. Duxet. Thank you so much for the tip. I'm in pickles right now. I am looking for double shot ABS XDA profile keycaps and I can't find them. Do they not exist? Thank you for the great content. Uh, double shot ABS XDA. To my knowledge, most XDA sets are. PBT? I don't know of any double shot ABS XDA keycaps. If you don't like PBT dice up, then I guess. Yeah, I don't know where you would get that. <laughs> Not many vendors stock XDA either, as far as I know. I know Drop has a couple XDA sets. Uh, does Pimp My Keyboards have XDA? I forget. I know they have DSA. Pimp my keyboard. Uh, let's see. Do they have XDA? I don't think they have XDA. No, I don't know where you would get double shot ABS. No market for it, unfortunately. Okay. We got some browns. And here is the case. That website sounds like a scam. Yeah, I thought so too. When I first joined, I for sure thought pit my keyboard. There's no way they're legit. Uh, but they are they are a legit legitimate vendor. I've purchased I've purchased a total of two items from there in the past. Alright, wow, it comes wrapped in a towel. Do you guys think this is Fox's towel? Or if this is from the factory? Oh, I'm gonna guess it's not foxes. Look at this! It looks soft, it is soft. Okay, so he already has it built with, I think, Gat Inks, just to try it out. No, we're gonna be doing a, we're gonna be building it with browns and he sent us an extra PCB and plate. All right. Oh, is this palm? I think this might be a palm plate. Hold on. Why is Mr. Fox not responding? Linear build is, oh, they're MX Blacks. Okay. I guess we'll start off with a typing test. Yes, this is GMK Pingzu round one chat. Round two is live. Actually, let's take a look around the board. 
Okay, so it's got this, it's got this front kind of chamfer going on. Pretty nice. Ooh, it's got that koala-esque curve. Very minimal curve though, not a whole lot. Side profile. This is the back. Ooh, back looks pretty clean. USB port? Damn, that is spot on. <laughs> that might be... That is one hell of a USB port. That is... That's like 100% accuracy right there. This is the bottom. Ooh. That's a nice weight. Of course, Foxbox the Boomer goes for the K-pop finger heart. That's kind of nice. I like it. Okay. I like. And the front. Why the hair take you? All right. Do we have mods? Can we open up the casino? It might be a little early for the mods. Do I even have monkey type? Oh yes, I do have monkey type. All right, I'll do it myself. Prediction. Is the frog front height low? Yes, I would say the frog front height is pretty low. Rumor is the bigger the finger heart, heart older the person. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do a typing test with this first. Uh, this was built with Cherry MX Blacks, 62 gram long springs, desk key switch filmed, 105 for springs, and 3204 for the switches. Noise gate on, yes, I will get that taken care of. All right, noise gate off now. Um, this is a prototype. I think some design changes were made for the production unit so keep that in mind I actually don't know what plate is underneath here okay that looks like an aluminum plate 139 I learned my lesson <laughs> if my guest gets stolen today I'm unsubbing what do you mean stolen I never steal guesses all right this is what this this is how loud the mouse clicks are right at the keyboard. Here we go. Oh, this is way too early. What? Okay, this is way too early for this. She. I'm sorry, believer. <laughs> this is. I didn't have a good sleep. <laughs> Alright, 131. Oh. Of course, she let me down. Okay, that's toxic. These are what the mods sound like.
Switches used? I believe so. Um, I, we haven't opened this up. I think this board also utilizes the gummy O-ring mount, which I would believe. It definitely has that, it's got that clack. For uh, MX Black, it's got a clack. Oh, I guess we can do a little sound comparison. As we have two boards with MX Blacks here. Um, different plates, but just to give you guys a range of what MX Blacks can sound like. Pretty wild difference, right? They're actually fairly similarly spec, the switches at least, but the plate's different. Obviously the form factor is different too, but very different sounds. All right, let's take this apart and build it with MX Browns next. I'm gonna bring back the... What's the keycap called? This is GMK Pingsu. The round two of this is actually live over at Project Keyboards right now. Okay. So we have here the plate. Is this a Heine PCB? It is a Heine PCB. Nice. Did R1 have row five? Because R2 does. I don't recall. I would not be surprised if row, round one did not have row five though. I want to say it didn't. If there was row five, I definitely would have purchased it. Okay. Got the Heine PCB here. H60. Okay, I guess we, oh, do I need to use clip and stabs? Let's open this board and see what stabilizers Mr. Foxbox used. I will say for a first design, this board is fantastic. And if you guys know Foxbox, you guys know he's not like a, he's not a keyboard designer by trade. But I mean, the fact that someone like Fox was able to end up on a product like this, this is pretty impressive. Is there a Geek Hack page? I don't know if there ever will be a Geek Hack page. Uh, for those of you guys tuning in, this is a uh, more of a personal like pet project they did. I don't think they intend to have it vendored. Um, what Mr. Fox said, it sounds like there might be some units available for the public, but we're talking like, we're talking like less than 50 units. <laughs> he is a one man, he's an individual just making something because he wanted to. Someone like Fox? I didn't mean that in a bad way. I just meant like... Fox is relatively new to the hobby. Fox do be a little old for the hobby. He, uh, his day job has nothing to do with keyboards. But look at him, he has his own board now. How cool is that? Did you see GMK Mizu going for 1K on mech market? What? No, do you have a link? Some that old can design a keyboard that nice, then so can anyone. <laughs> that's that's kind of toxic, Brad. <laughs> Says the 58 year old. Do you prefer F12 one keyless or F13 one keyless? Um, I'm gonna say F12. I don't know if I love the F13 look. I'm not gonna complain if a keyboard is F13 versus F12. If I had to pick one though, I'd probably go F12. I never use the extra key. 
All right, so this is the top piece. That's what it looks like without the bottom piece. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, I mean, I know the f I know where this comes from, so pretty standard quality. If any of you guys get into making your own boards. Okay. There is the daughter board. I saw botanical novelties pending for 125 plus shipping. Jesus. That's insane. Did Mr. Fox use clippings? He did use clippings. Okay. I guess we'll have to also use clippings. Man, this prototype's been through some it's been through multiple builds, I can tell. <laughs> but at least it works. He hasn't had to he hasn't ripped off a pad yet. What well, you can tell, this has been built and rebuilt multiple times. Probably for um, testing out different switches to see how he likes it. Okay, pretty nice. And then there is the, uh, there's the gummy o-ring here. I guess we'll need to, I was only sent one o-ring, so I'm gonna need to remove this actually. Was I sent an extra o-ring? No, I was not. There's only one. So we're going to do that. And then this here. <laughs> this is the bottom piece. So you've got the, the support for the gummy O-rings. Oh, this also has a slight zon ledge as well. Interestingly, no cutouts for the stabs. Maybe they didn't need that? And then... JST cable routing channel, pretty nice. And USB-C daughter board, okay. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Okay, let's see. You really named it? I, I don't know what to call it. I asked him, what should I name this board? He never responded. I'm guessing he's busy at a shoot. Where are my clippings? These are, those are not the clippings I have. So. So clippings there can be there. One more. All right, we're going to go for backspace. Should have named it the Boomer Sixty. That's toxic. Uh, split right shift. It's seven U. It's a seven U. Yes, this is seven. I was gonna criticize the name. Looks good. Okay, this is not actually called the Fox Fox board. I just don't know what to call it. He doesn't have a name for it yet. I guess. I mean, which, to be fair, you don't really need a name for a board. Especially if it's just a uh, personal pet product one like this. It's not like you need to advertise this or anything. Korea Boo 60? <laughs> oh, I gotta bring out my... Uh... Oh, hold on.
way too hot. The Turk, thank you for the 13 months. Hello. Pen Pal with the seven, Jolly Rogers with the seven months. Got the exact same Frogger's, can't wait to get it. Nice. <clears throat> the Coffee, thank you for the Prime Sub. More games with the Prime Kick Butler, thank you for 13 months. I PM'd you on Discord. What? Dude, people are insane. The whole kit. Okay, I thought it was just the base kit. I mean, this is still an insane price. Holy crap. This was mounted on the 60 used for about a week. No channel other than the better. Does not have that brand new in box feel on some of the alphas. My goodness, what are the comments like? Lamal, Jesus, damn. Hit me up if you change your mind about splitting the kits. Damn. 7.55. That's crazy. <laughs> people are wild. You know why people complain about GMK? It's because of these flippers. <laughs> Newcomers coming into the hobby probably think this is like the norm to pay 700 for some keycaps. It is not the norm. <laughs> most newbies. I feel like most newbies who complain about GMK are the ones who are buying it at flip prices. I did at first. I can understand buying a secondhand set. Like that is perfectly fine. You know, I, I used to buy tons of secondhand sets. I mean, I still do sometimes, not as much, but if the, if the need arises, I do buy secondhand. But to pay 700 for a, that's wild. Faith, hello! Thank you so much for the 11 months. Tehaga, okay, that's toxic. <laughs> How are you doing? I know you're flipping your Olivia sets. I still have my Olivia sets. What do you mean? I've only sold extras of the sets at retail to my friends. I paid 500 for my GMK laser clones. What? Are you trolling? Not only did you get flipped on, but you got flipped on clones. You didn't even get flipped on the, the OGs. It's still on drop though, that's what I'm saying. Oh, he's trolling, okay, they're trolling. I found your Reddit alt and I sold you some for seven. Okay, bowl cut gamer. This guy. I don't have a Reddit alt. Oh, did any of KCON's boards sell? I also saw KCON was offloading a crap ton of stuff. They were priced, they were priced pretty high. Can someone, do you guys have the KCON listing? Did any of them sell? Geo, hello, what happened to Frog Hat? It's gone. It was only for the Frog TKL build. Should I make a channel redemption? <laughs> Bring out the Frog Cap? Uh, do you ever just bath your glasses? I do wash my glasses from time to time. Not not super frequently though. Uh, frog hat, best hat. Nathan is toxic. What do you mean? 
flippers that won't pay a dime to original designer will also complain about clones in the same sentence. True, very true. Did you get the icky? I did not. Do you lube the legs on browns? I very lightly lube it on browns. Nothing, nothing listed as sold in that DM? Ah, uh, I thought so. It was priced kind of high. <laughs> I could maybe see the stainless steel selling for that much, but everything else was a little pricey, I feel like. Uh, I got that XHT DBZ lube recently and it is Chef's Kiss. Nice. Do you collect artisans, Nathan? Uh, I'm going to say no. I used to. Not at the moment. I've always been on and off with artisans. It's just way too deep of a rabbit hole. I think it's better I just abstain from it. I do have some, but yeah, I'm not, I don't really actively join raffles anymore. It's just too much. <laughs> I'm also a, when it comes to artisans, I was a completionist. Like I need the whole set. I am not satisfied with just getting one of the set. And it drives me crazy. <laughs> And trying to like track down everyone who has the rest of the keycaps, trying to figure out trades and all that, it's it's a headache. Ooh, Mr. Fox is here. I just woke up. Nice. It's a pain not getting winning raffles. True. Uh, it's a common talking point that money from flip sets don't go to the designer, but that. But the fact that a set is flipping for X helps out the designer. Uh, oh, we have, we officially have a name for this board. Fox boxes. Okay, I'll title the stream Fox boxes GS go. What is GS go? Fox boxes. GS go prototype build stream. How does that help the designer? It doesn't, oh, it's not, it's just called GS. Whoops, there's no go. Okay. <laughs> Fox boxes GS prototype. It doesn't, it indirectly helps the designer in the sense that if sets are flipping for a high price, that means there's a high demand for it. So that means they could rerun it essentially. If, if they were to rerun it, it would do really well. It's an indicator of whether they should rerun the set or not. But that doesn't directly help the designer per se. I, I will also say, just because a set flips for, just because a set flips for a high price doesn't necessarily mean there's that much demand for it. I think designers have to be cautious of that as well. With, uh, with how stupid mech market has become, it might just be the case that there are, you know, 20 people who are just willing to pay $800 for a, f a flipped set. That doesn't necessarily indicate that it deserves a rerun. It just, it just indicates there were 20 stupid people who are willing to pay $800 for a flipped set. 60 equals, go equals 60. Oh. I see. Why does mech market allow crazy flip prices? Uh, I mean, it's a free market. <laughs> how do you, how do you control mech? How do you, how would you control flip prices? What determines the limit for how expensive an item can be? Also, if mech market had a no flip policy, that doesn't solve the problem. Someone's just going to make a spin-off subreddit that allows flipping and you, uh, <laughs> mech market just dies. <laughs> Quam market, <laughs> Quam market. They will go on eBay. Yeah, that's true. Some people already turned to eBay. I'm pretty sure all the people banned from mech market they probably just go to eBay.
Um, Telemundo, thank you so much for the tier one sub. Just be honest, thank you for the prime. Lom Tuna with the four months, thank you. Tirolak with the prime sub, thank you. Prices on eBay are even more evil. Yeah, eBay also takes a massive cut. It's like 10% or something. It's a pretty big cut. Will there be a DMD round three? I don't know. You will have to ask Mr. Feature Crime for that. <laughs> Alex is just laughing right now. I've seen people selling GMK DMG for 600 bucks. That's crazy. That is wild. Um, it's lame that this is the first impression so many people get for the hobby, but it is what it is. That is true. It's also like a, uh, it's like a loop. <laughs> Newcomers come in, they see mech market, they see sets flipping for 800 plus. So that's their impression of the hobby. It enables them to do the same. Mech market gets bigger, more newcomers come, they go to mech market because it's so big. It's just a perpetual, it's a feedback loop into itself. It has reached critical mass. There's no way mech market stops now. Revolving door mech market. <laughs> um, someone selling a jelly for 1k? Wait, jelly epoch? For a grand? That is actually the smoothest of brains. Why? <laughs> Aren't they trying to... Pump out as many jelly epochs as possible. What? It's been consistently selling for over one grand? That's insane. I don't know the buyer is gonna be even smoother. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, smoothest brain is the people that buy it. Yeah. Gio, do you still have a plug on those foam shoes? Kind of still want one. What's your favorite keycap set apart from Olivia? Um, I really like GMK camping still. I like, I really like Plum. It's unfortunate that the alphas turned out that way, but thematically as a set, I still really like Plum. Someone sold a Vega for 800 to me. Sheesh. I remember when key calls for, were going for a grand. Yeah. What do you think about alpacas? I like them. What switches do you use on your daily keyboard? It rotates. Currently, it's Cherry MX Blacks right now. Uh, GMK Darling prices are insane too. Yeah. I mean, I can kind of understand GMK Darling going for a lot because it's not going to be rerun. So GMK Darling is... Wait, is that the right set? GMK Darling, it was announced they're not going to rerun it, right? I forget. Too many weeb sets, but... I, I think so, yeah, right? So, I mean, I can kind of understand why people would pay crazy prices for GMK Darling. Like, it is very unlikely that they will, they will um, get actual proper licensing for the set, so out of a legal protection, they are not going to run it again. So which makes sense. That 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 actually makes the product uh, limited and exclusive. But a lot of the other products, I don't understand. A PBT Darling. Oh, but it's not the same. It's not GMK Darling. 
Grace, good morning. Mizu round two is early fall. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Mizu is coming back. And then you can also make the argument time is money though. Time is money, right? So this person who bought GMK Mizu for $800, what they're saying is they'd rather pay that extra premium to get a year's worth of keycap usage. If you put it that way, it, I guess it kind of makes sense. But to me, not really though. <laughs> It's still a keycap set. You can get any other keycap set that will functionally do the same. Is it worth the $500 premium for me? I'm gonna say no. I'd rather just wait a year. But it's up to you how you wanna value your time and money. I'm not in a position to do that, so. If, if paying a premium of 500 is worth skipping a year of waiting, I guess go ahead and pay flip prices. Well, that's what I'm saying, right? Just because it flips for that high doesn't necessarily mean there's demand. It just means there were individuals that were... It just means there were certain groups of individuals that are willing to make that trade-off. It doesn't necessarily mean there's a horde of people waiting to do that. What is the most you spent on a keycap set? Do I really expose myself? Ryo Kin, thank you so much for the 14 months. The most, okay, the most I spent on a keycap set, it wasn't on just the keycaps though. It came with a keyboard. And I paid 600, I paid $600. I can, I can show you, let me bring it. I paid $600 for this. 600 plus shipping. It is not functioning. This normally is attached to a actual computer, an IBM computer. But I have just the key, just the PC, just the, just the keycaps. This has a switch many of you guys probably are not familiar with. Anyone know what switches these are? These are not Romer G's. It's not a wall outlet. No, these are Alps. Alps Springs. Um, the switches themselves are very interesting. I would actually use these in a board if they supported Alp Springs. I think it does require a different PCB. Um, these keycaps, I bought it for the keycaps. Look, it supports modern day wind keyless TKL, like actually. Plus they are die sub PBT. This is die sub PBT, look at that quality. This is die sub chat. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for the right board to put these on. Um, I'm going to have to mod the keys a little bit. Alp springs, um, there's a little bit of, it hits against regular Alps, but the mount, the stem is the same. So I'm just gonna need to shave off a little bit of the inside of the keycaps, but yeah. This is the most expensive keycap set I own. Yeah, these are for Alps. 
But I mean, this is Dyson. Uh, I'm going to sound really ignorant. This is also some, I want to say Chinese. There's like, it's it's not the modern, it's not the most, I'm, I'm sounding so ignorant, but it's not, it's a, like a, it's a dialect of one of the Chinese alphabets. No, this is not Japanese. Or maybe it might be Taiwanese? I forget. But yeah, it's not your traditional... It's not your traditional Chinese characters. Oh, it's Taiwanese? Okay. I apologize for my ignorance. Look at that, even the mods have the characters. And once again, this is die subbed. The colors are amazing, look at those colors. It's so nice. Colors are immaculate. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the right board to come out. <laughs> I can put Alps in. If it ever happens. If no good Alps boards comes out, my Alps collection will be moot. Where did my, oh, there's my brush. Oh no, I got 25 grade zero on my shirt. Oh, it's Zhuin? I see. Diamond hands. How much you pay for the salve? Uh, it's Zhuin and Kangji? Kangji? Sub legends. Two different input methods for, tr oh, it's traditional Chinese. Ah, I see. Uh, for the salves, I paid five fifty. I bought it brand new. No, I I know some of Wilbur. I know Wilbo and Heine's PCB support Alps. Some of them, but I'm waiting for the right board. <laughs> I don't want to put Alps in some ugly ass board. Um, not not that not that the keyboards that use those PCBs are ugly, but. I'm like waiting for a forever home. So I'm like, I'm just waiting for the right exact board. Will, hello, hello from Stanford. Wow, nice. Nice. Josh May, thank you for the nine months. Congrats on her baby. Shubes Tube, thank you for the three months. Ryokin with the 14 months, thank you. Um, King G pronounced as Song G E, Song G E. Is that right? Or Sing, Sing G E, Sing G, Sing G E, Sing Jai. Is it G or Jai? I want to put linear Alps on a thermal. Yeah, Alp, I like Alps. I love Alps. Who's calling me? <laughs> Wait. Oh, Jay? <laughs> Do I know Jay? Oh, no, it's a different Jay. Uh... Why you don't? Nice to meet you though, Jay. Bultis, thank you for the nine months. Raz, welcome back for a year. Hello. So I'll catch the VOD goodnight. Alright, have a good one, Slifferino. Did you get that coffee table book you looked up last stream? I forget which one I looked up last stream. <laughs> Can you link me again? Can you add frog hat as a redeemable? Yeah, I'll do it at the end of the stream. I'll have it enabled for next stream. Is that a real thing? Yes, GMK Moomin is a real thing. They have official licensing. It is expected to run later this year, I believe. For all you Moomin fans out there.
Ren just said something about... Ren just said something on the Discord about it? Oh, hopefully, hopefully it's a good one. Oh, it's running July 18th! Oh, I see! Are you getting GMK Shosh and camera theme? Yes, I'm definitely getting Shosh in. You follow the Euros? I do not, unfortunately. I'm drinking chocolate milk. Nice. What was the one that was themed after Photoshop is Sarah? Uh, I, I always forget the name. It's EPBT... I think EPBT Creative? Maybe try checking EPBT Creative. I know it's an EPBT set for sure. Sniffles, thank you so much for the seven months. What? I didn't invent it. <laughs> Uh, GMK Shashin, Hiragana, or Latin? I'm probably going to go Latin. Oh, Creative Studio. Nice. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's also a for sure pickup. I'm doing a build with Alps Brown soon. Nice. Yeah, Alps Browns for sure. They're a unique switch. One of my favorite switches. Rumors say he has been working on stabs. Okay. Has nine hours. <laughs> when are you putting out a Taya Types GMK set? I don't know. I, I don't have a desire to put out a Taya Types like full GMK set. But I do I do have one colorway in mind. But we'll see how lazy I get. <laughs> I am working on a new design for a desk mat though. I might, I might just keep putting out more desk mats. Be like, as like merch, desk mats are much more stomachable for a lot of my viewers. You can always change out desk mats. I am working on the art for the next desk mat. And I'll probably be doing another run of the keyboard carrying cases. Ranked grind for Apex Legends? What? More vlogs soon? Yes, I have filmed vlogs, just waiting for them to be edited. Please make a hunger sub-legend? Yeah, if I def if I designed a full GMK kit, it would definitely have hunger. More Taya cases? Yeah, John. Thoughts on GMK Earth Tones? I already forgot the colors of it. <laughs> you have an editor? Yes. Uh, Teha Snipes videos, I have an editor for. The main channel, I do it all myself, but Teha Snipes, I've always had an editor. Teha Snipes is just more of a it's just like a side fun thing for me. I like, I enjoy vlogging. It doesn't make me money. It actually loses me money, but I, I keep doing it for my sanity. <laughs> it's nice to have different, or it's nice to work on like different forms of content. I also think it's good to diversify. So TS Snipes is just kind of a, it's an experimental burner channel. Hopped into Analog Dreams and Digital Nightmares. Endgame sets would be nice. Do you edit your OnlyFans? Okay, Moon Operator. I don't I don't post to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Are you losing money on paying your editor? Yes. I pay my editor more than the video generates. 
which is fine. I mean, I've liked the editors I'm working, I've worked with, so. Maybe one day if my vlogs pop off, it'll all make a profit, but. Yeah, like I said, it's just more of a side hobby. My main channel funds <laughs> my vlog channel. Thoughts on Duroc linear liner switches? Oh, I've never tried the creamy greens. I've never tried that actually. How do you tell your editor how you like videos to be done? Uh, actually, I don't really have. So Taya Snipes has gone through three or four editors now. I've always just told them, just do what you want. Um, obviously, I, I mean, there are some guidelines. I, I tell them, you know, I want my vlogs to be a little bit, I don't want it to be like full on meme. I want it to be a little bit more cinematic if possible. But other than that, I've been giving my editors kind of free reign to do whatever. Let me edit your video. I'll just put my face on the corner for the while edit. What? <laughs> Remsky, hello. Would you be designing your own keyboard someday? Uh, potentially, yeah. You know, I, I have been thinking about that recently. Like, what is my, like, what is my five-year plan? What is my 10-year plan with Taya Types? And if you guys have been following since I started out, I've said a couple times on stream that when I, when I went into this full-time, I kind of expected myself to be irrelevant in five years and potentially not make content anymore. But, and then and then maybe transition into like product design or something. But nowadays, I think it's changed. I don't know if I necessarily want to go into like the physical product space. I think I'm gonna try to make content for as long as I can and potentially avoid. <laughs> Assuming my videos and content can pay the bills, I think I might just not really try to get into the physical design space. Didn't you build a key cult with your logo engraved on it? Yes, that was a gift from key cult. That's not really a Taya types board though. It was just a key cult model with my logo engraved on it. <laughs> That's different from a Tia Types board. It'd probably be a TKL. If I put out a keyboard, the first one would probably be a TKL, yes. NFTs, Teha Crypto? I don't I don't know. NFTs, it seems a little a little cringe. No one would buy my NFTs. If an NFT sells for like 10 bucks. Is it even really worth it? It's just more buzzword cringe added to your brand value, which I don't really care for. Now, if my if my NFT was selling for like thousands, okay, for sure I'd do that. <laughs> Making your own scam coin, yeah. Why though? Is it because of the collab time required? Uh, yeah, it's a little bit of. I mean, obviously I would have to dedicate time, which means potentially less time for streams or working on other stuff. Uh, and then the other thing is just, the other thing is money. You need, a, you need some money to pay for prototypes and who knows how long prototyping takes. It's possible that I come up with a design and just no amount of prototyping can save it or make it, bring it to a point where I like it. 
Um, I think the biggest thing is pressure though. Like if I were to put out a Teha Types keyboard, there's a lot of there's a lot on the line for that. And it could it could potentially like ruin <laughs> my career, I feel like. If I put out a Teha Types board, it ends up not being liked by a lot of people. I think it's that pressure. But I am I'm not against it. I mean, it's definitely on my mind. Just to private? What do you mean just to private? A private group buy? Even then, it'll still, it'll still be sold. Let chat design a Tia Types board kick? No way I'm letting chat design a board. Are you kidding me? Um, HK Gaming off. Is this the HK Gaming? Thanks for the support and free exposure. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't do anything. Is this the HK? I can't tell based off their... What is off? It, it does have the official accounts linked, but anyone could link that. Hello, HK Gaming. Thank you for the bits. Brant KB, thank you for the three months. You need hunger keycap sets that are available. Uh, in stock, not at the moment. Not at that I can think of. You check meggoopies.com. And I am uh, caught up with alerts. Uh, can you still remember what was your first stream? Yeah, it's up on my YouTube channel. My very first ever stream is up on my YouTube channel. It was scuffed. Very scuffed. How can you mod AK-30? I have no idea. I don't even know what board the AK-33 is. Don't know. Uh, and they're not scuffed now? Okay, it was, it was more scuffed back then. <laughs> How about that? Uh, what do you think of the ID Bio 87? I have also not tried that, but I hear it's not a bad option for people on a budget. Uh, oh wow, MX Browns, interesting. When is the Teha Types brand franchising to TikTok? I don't know if I want to focus on TikTok. Um, I mean, it does seem like TikTok is here to stay. TikTok just seems, it just doesn't seem like my brand. I don't want to do TikTok. Uh, I generate no money from TikTok. So I don't see why I would want to upkeep it. I'm not really, I'm not really keen on like blowing up quickly. It's just another platform I have to manage with no real gain in my opinion. I don't think I have much to gain from continuing TikTok. Just more headache. Soran, hello. I thought you just lazy around. Okay, buddy. Uh, I don't know. I feel it's the opposite for me. More personal and IG is all ads. I'm also wondering what the point of IG is for me anymore either. Uh, Instagram is, they're not really pushing photos anymore from what I hear. Instagram is also trying to, Instagram is going hard on the reels. And they're trying to be a TikTok competitor. I don't do reels. <laughs> I just post photos. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe there is no real gain to having Instagram anymore. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not hard for me to upload to Instagram, but like, if there's no real gain, why am I even maintaining it? Hmm, there are two locations. Okay, it's marked. Nice. Nice. 
Oh, some of these. Oh, wait. Not all of these are clipping. Crap. Okay, backspace for sure has to be clipping. Enter is okay, not being clipping. Have you done anything for your tier four? Oh, I'm gonna build my T1 during the subathon. It's probably going to kill like 20 hours because I am going to struggle figuring out how to build a T1. Whoa, we have ZS. Hello, ZS. How are you doing? None of these are clipping. Okay, I need to pull off clipping housing. Dang it, I moved all these staffs, but they weren't clipping. I guess I just mislabeled all of these. Okay, six more hours. <laughs> no, no, no. It's not gonna take that long. I just need to do it for spacebar. Backspace and spacebar are the ones that matter. Is the subathon uncapped? Yes, it will be uncapped. Nathan, hire me again, you lazy boomer. Wait, what do you mean hire you again? You left me. Let me let me expose ZS to you guys, chat. I was ZS's first client. And then he moved on to greater things. He got picked up, he got noticed by bigger content creators. And now he's saying I didn't hire him. Come on, bro. I'm just kidding, I love ZS. Yeah, he, he's been editing for a lot of big people. Wait, are, are you not editing for them anymore? Do you have new clients? I don't know who your clients are anymore. You're too famous for me. I can't be in ZS's presence no more. He is a god amongst the Twitch community. You're still editing for them? Oh. Jody, Yvonne, and Scooch. Who is Scooch? Never heard of Scooch. Okay. We just need to swap. Oh, I need to lube the housing though. Hey, ZS, for more best of Tet Types videos? Maybe. You guys don't clip enough. The best of videos were actually kind of hard for ZS. Cause you guys don't really make clips. Or if you guys make clips, they're all trash. Man's really who'd Scooch? Yeah, I don't know who Scooch is. I don't keep up with Twitch, man. I don't even watch other streamers. I barely watch Twitch anymore. Or YouTube actually, I haven't really been consuming YouTube either. Vaddy subs? What? Who's Vaddy? Vaddy? The other... To be fair, same goes for me. What do you mean same goes for you? Oh, you don't watch that much Twitch? Okay, these are the housings we do not need. Whoa, John Z's things are things for four months. John, when are you gonna stream next? Can you let me know when you're gonna stream next? I also met Hi Johnsies this past weekend. Very cute guy. Ike, Ike Zaki, thank you so much for the Prime sub. 
Yan Man, thank you so much for the three months. Just built my first board. Thanks for the inspiration. No problem. Hope you like it. Uh, Chad, thanks so much for the bits. Nail Kara, thanks for the 14 months. Just got my Kara? Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, I'm gonna apply a li little bit more of the BDZ since it probably got worn off on the other housings. Just realize Nathan is lefty? Yes. Skincare routine. Does my skin look that good? My skin's actually pretty trash. Um, but I've been, I've been, uh, I've been trying to keep up. I just moisturize. I don't use toners. I don't use, oh, actually, I think I might use a toner. I don't use serums. But I have definitely seen a, positive benefit of using retinol and collagen and sunblock. Uh, I should never mention streaming more to him with my huge 0 0.9 per month lately. Oh, to me? <laughs> Can't confirm his skin is nice? Okay. Does your desk mat say FF? No, it says future funk. Um, can your GPU fit the T1 though? Yes, I got a 3070 XC3. 3080 XC3? It's definitely gonna fit. Are you still using G Fuel daily? I have never tried out G Fuel. I don't think I'll ever try out G Fuel. You want me in VC during the T1 build? Yeah. I'm down. You can visit me IRL if you want. You want to fly over here? I do live alone now, so I don't need to worry about like family. Do you still use any Band-Aid mod? I don't use Band-Aid mod anymore. That has long been deprecated. Yo, I'm coming with him? Dude, you should! Zias and Soran, if you guys are ever in LA, let me know. But remember about the... Oh shoot, yeah, I gotta buy those. Crap. I have not bought those. <clears throat> Do you know any app or web? What is web? To learn to type fast. Yeah, Mav is beacon baking. Mav... Will you buy me buy a blast when I'm in LA? Sure, <laughs> bouncy. I will treat you to your first buy a blast. Whatever food you want, if you guys are for any of my non-American visitors, I will buy, I will eat with you. Whether it whether I think it is good or bad. <laughs> buy buy. Will you buy me six wings and chips when I come to LA? Sure, Mr. Glorus. Anything for you. All you non-Americans, I will eat whatever you want with you.
I want to try in and out I get it out. Do you consume spicy food on a daily basis? Uh, I wouldn't say on a daily basis, but for sure. I mean, I, I like spicy food. I'm pretty good with spicy food. I'm decent. I'm not like a god at spicy food, but... Where do you get your desk mats from? From all of my sponsors. Check them out. I have them linked under the uh, underlay. Let's change. You come to Brazil and we'll eat the best street foods. Oh, I want to visit Brazil. I can see Brazil street food being big. I love street food in general. LTT collab when? Uh, I'm too small collab with LTT. I don't think LTT knows who I am. I am too insignificant for Mr. Alliance. You have done before? No, I have never collabed with Mr. Linus. The closest I ever got to Linus was typing on the same keyboard as him, but that's about it. They do know of you? Okay, I mean, some people on Linus's team know of me, but I don't know if Linus himself actually knows who I am. Sam, hello! Oh crap, I missed your latest video. I saw it was premiering and I was like, dang it. I was so excited to click it, but it was like, I gotta wait. And then I forgot, I'll watch it after the stream. Mr. Sam just released a new uh, song, I think, on YouTube. Uh, didn't you build LTT a keyboard? I have never built LTT a keyboard. <laughs> Nathan will put them all to sleep? Yeah, that's my specialty. If you need help sleeping, I got you. Okay, no rattle. How do you mount your top view cam? Oh shoot. I have a pole running across the room and I had it clamped with a... Uh... Actually, I guess I could show you. Do I leak it now before I make a studio tour video? What do you do if there's rattle? You add more lube. Stripper pole? Yeah, stripper pole. <laughs> I'm trying to learn how to pole dance, you know. Also, you haven't agreed to my turn. Oh crap, did you send me a DM? I'm so sorry. I will try to check it <laughs> after the stream. I apologize. I've been really bad with responding to DMs and emails. Like I just have so many. <laughs> Do you know about Zoro switches? I do not. He's always ignoring me, feels bad. And there's just too much going on right now. Uh, for future reference, Glarsis, if I don't respond, feel free to like, spam, ping me, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You see those new egg stocks today? No, I I don't keep up with new egg stocks. I'm gonna go into your server and at you a million times. Uh-oh. Where can I get keycaps for a 60% without it being over a hundred bucks or a group buy? Amazon.
What 60% interest checks are you excited for? Um, not much really. <laughs> I'm not a 60% guy. I don't care too much for 60% actually. Do you like the EPBT Kuro Show round three? Yes. I will definitely be picking up a round three. I skipped out on round two. No, actually, I forgot to join round two. I skipped out on round one at the time because EPBT was whatever to me. <clears throat> but round three, I will definitely be joining. I remember why we had sub mode on. Why was it? How many sets of twosie did you buy? I think I bought three. Oh no, two. I got two sets of twosie. When are you building Numa? I don't know. I don't have it yet. They're still working on the protos. Preference is objectively the best. Oh wait, AJ. Long time no see. Wait. I think your profile picture changed. I forgot to join Tuzi. Sag. Your tail has grown? Yeah. Friday, I am dying it. I wonder why. By the way, what do you think of X <laughs> freaking story? Uh, what's good, man? Definitely hot minute. Yeah. Watch 2Z end up looking pink. I'm sure they'll do a good job. Candy man, thanks for the prime. General, general IDK, thanks for nine months. I'm gonna sell my KBD67 light round to black to get a D60 light. PC instead. Nice. I don't want Tuzi to be a bust. It's been hyped too much. I don't think it'll be a bust. I mean, it's being vendored by Omni type. I'm sure they'll have some level of standard. What website do you use to design keeps for customers? If I understood your answer I mean, if I understand your question currently, there is no website for designing keyboards. You require a soft, you require softwares. I don't, I think you're, I don't understand your question. <laughs> Sean, thank you so much for a gift. Why'd you give the sub, Sean? Thank you so much. My cousin got into Keebs. I saw he was in your Discord and I was like, oh, I know him. <laughs> What's your cousin? What's his name? Time to expose him. Uh, I have Gateron Optical Yellow. Does the keycaps I choose matter? If I recall, I forget what, I actually don't remember. Do they have an MX stem? They do. No, you can use MX stems. It's fine. No, just his use his username, not his actual name. His actual name has no meaning to me. I don't know the guy. I'm not gonna blow him up like that. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. Sean, when are you here? Are you here yet? Are you avoiding me? I'm going to see Sean this weekend. But I think he doesn't want to hang out with me. Sag. I'm also going to grab food with Mr. Actually, I guess I shouldn't leak. But yeah, I'm going to be meeting some keyboard people this weekend. Wait, can I, can I speak about the meetup? Do people already know? I was told I can't talk about it. 
But it seems like people know. They don't? Oh. <laughs> Wait, but peop people in chat know about it though, without me mentioning it. Wait, then can I even... Can I even vlog the hangout? Or stream it? Susga. <laughs> It's after the fact? Does it really make a difference whether it's after the fact or before? <laughs> Why do people not like Kono? Is it for similar reasons to TKC? Ah, uh, Kono, similar reasons to TKC. You know what? No. I think as a company, TKC might rank lower than Kono at this point. Agree or disagree? Kono just has bad rep because uh, in their past, they used to have a lot of... Early on in their days, they had issues with fulfillment and customer service. But they never really like... I don't think they've ever botched multiple products. It's just mostly from, as a consumer standpoint, um, you know, people had like delays, their, their distribution partner was not the greatest early on. They have, I do know for a fact, they have moved on to a very respectable distributor. So I think if you're worried about um, distributing, or if you're worried about like your sets not getting to you, Kono has definitely improved on that point. Um, are you sure you're not talking about Oko? No, not Oko. I mean, I don't think a lot of the newcomers don't even know about Oko. TKC just straight up, they, they have just botched products. Uh, product after product currently. Right, they do have, they did have the issue with Shoko round two. But it got resolved, right? They they actually talked it out. There was miscommunication on their end. I don't like Kono because they do extremely low MLQs and they pick up the worst sets. <laughs> I mean, someone's got to do that though, right? Not every vendor can pick up nice sets. Like, whether you want to admit it or not, there are tiers to vendors at this point right not every vendor is the first pick for designers someone's got to pick up the leftover sets so i don't think i don't think that's something to mark points off for kono and that also feeds into the low moqs like kono just doesn't sell as many sets as like novel keys would or omnitype would so they have to price their point, or they have lower MOQ breaks. They have shitty contract. Okay, I mean contracts. Contracts are a different thing. I agree. Um, I, I I will say, definitely Kono. You know, as working as a designer, it is much easier to work with other nicer vendors. <laughs> but uh, I know Kono is trying to improve. And I know for a fact, they have moved on to a better distributor that I have experience with. Uh. Kono throws shit at the wall and sees what sticks. When your renders include keys that aren't in any kits, there's something wrong. <laughs> Do you recommend people going to school for designing? What? Designing what? I'm also not an expert in design. I'm the wrong person to ask. 
I don't know if I would go to school f I, I, I don't know, it depends on what you're trying to do. That's a very vague question. <laughs> TKC hate is real, but I love DMG. I, I love DMG too. Um, I think people also need to differentiate vendors from sets. Most of the times, the products running on the vendor's websites are not the product of the vendor. They're just acting as distributors and handling the uh, marketing slash fulfillment, which does make them affiliated to the product. But I think I do think you have to differentiate the designers from the vendor. Because the vendors, I mean, depending on the contracts, I mean, sorry, the designers, depending on the contract, they could easily switch over vendors if they end up not liking a specific vendor they worked with. When are you going to start streaming in 2-1? You want 2-1, Soran? I got you. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> Dude, you like, you like these cinematics? Actual 2-1? I don't think you can actually stream in 2-1. Can you? Does OBS have an option for... Do we go over this already? I don't think you can. Oh, I can't really check because I'm streaming. It won't let me change the numbers. You can! Oh! You streamed in 21 by 9. Okay, question chat. Should I stream... Or for videos? What aspect ratios do you guys prefer? Do you guys like 16 by 9, 18 by 9, 21 by 9? What do you guys want? I've also been playing around with aspect ratio for YouTube. 16 by 9. Videos definitely 2 to 1, 21. 420 by 69. 4 3 stretched? Oh god, please no 4 3. Not that. Snyder cut crap. <laughs> one to one is the go. <laughs> uh. Okay, it seems like a lot of people actually like 21 by 9. Is 21 by 9 the standard now? When did 21 by 9 be the standard? Four three to preserve the artist's vision. Nah. I can understand posting an image in four three, but a superhero film? Come on. Twenty one by nine for ultra wide. Oh, you guys are all ultra wide users. That's pretty cringe. Your frog hat is cringe? Okay, buddy. Switch to ultra back, ultra wide, and I can't switch back. Cringe. I'm just kidding. I actually, I actually have not tried ultra wide. I haven't tried dailying an ultra wide, so I can't really speak much about it. I am open to trying ultra wide. Lots of CC move to 2-1. What is CC? Closed captioning? Not credit card. Closed captioning? Crowd control? Ultra wide seems goaded for creative work, but I can't imagine doing anything else on it. Content creators, you bonobo. My only... If you get an ultra wide 
Let's say I streamed with an ultrawide. If I share my screen monitor, can I only share, by default, does it share the whole monitor display? Or can you, can you section it off? It will be cut, you will have borders. What do you mean I'll have borders? Giant black bars, what are you talking about? No, I'm asking. Like by default, let's say I wanna share one of my monitors, like here, oh, whoops. Like I am sharing my monitor here. To not, like I have, I have a monitor that I shouldn't share that I have like messages up and other stuff. I have a third monitor for like, I can share, just don't put any sensitive stuff on it. I'm asking if I have an ultra wide, it's just gonna share everything. You can share a region? Oh, I see, I see. If I can share a region, that makes it enticing. As a, as a streamer, I legitimately have a case for not wanting to share my whole monitor. I see. Just crop it in OBS. I mean, I could crop it in OBS, but I have noticed from time to time, like it glitches. Your settings aren't always like saved. Sometimes they're like, it'll revert. I don't want to have to deal with like making sure all my scenes are correct. Every time I go live. Just want it to be a one and done deal. Ultra wide will leak your OnlyFans off. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like early on in the past, like I have leaked Discords, DMs and messages because like I have something set for Discord. But like every time I stream, it like something messes up and then it's not what I said it before. So I don't want to deal with that anymore. <laughs> hey, how OnlyFan reveal? I do have an OnlyFans. Joke's on you, you are not subscribed to my OnlyFans. Don't think we need to worry about anchor switches today, as this is very tight. We'll go right into sponsor time. We have several sponsors. Oh, that's sagging. Hold on. We have several sponsors of the Tia Types channel. Alphabetically, the first one that we have is KBD fans. Head on over to kbdfans.com. We have tons of keycap sets live at the moment. The latest one being EPBT Kuro Shiro Round 3, designed by Mr. Gok, who you guys might know famously for his latest success of the completion of the 7V group by. There's also EPBT Dreamscape, EPBT Scandi, I think Cool Kids is over. But check out KBD fans, they also have tons of keyboard products. Uh, literally every component you would need for a build you can purchase on KBD fans, check them out. The next sponsor on our list is Keycult. Head on over to keycult.com. They are looking to expand their team at the moment. If you live in North Carolina or are willing to relocate to North Carolina, consider reaching out to the Key Cult team, applying to be their next... Oh, what the... To be their next full-time CNC operator. But you guys already know they make one of the best custom mechanical keyboard kits in the game. I'm a huge fan. I think they're preparing for 
they're ready to they're close to ready to ship out some keyboards and they might be already preparing for their next drop i was like tuning in and out of their latest update stream but the, yes join their discord join just follow their twitch they do have weekly oh no sorry bi-weekly update streams and sometimes they even stream their cnc machines in action i miss zach he doesn't show up on the update streams as much anymore but he is i'm, I'm sure he's having a great time being a new a newly what do you a newly father no <laughs> what do you being a father let's just leave it at that Next sponsor that we have is Novel Keys. Head on over to novelkeys.xyz. We have Alluvia currently live, the all aluminum, the first readily available for purchase all aluminum keycap set in collaboration with Miss Olivia. Check it out. There is also, I think that's it for keycaps actually. It's just a loop. Oh, sorry. Oblivion round 3.1 is also live. And this time it is slightly different from the previous rounds. But if you guys like Oblivion, if you guys are software engineers and you use Git a lot and you love Git, you just need to have something Git based on your keyboard, consider checking out Oblivion round three, designed by Mr. Oblotsky. You can also pick up tons of switches, desk mats, keyboard related items. Use code Teha Keys at checkout to save 5% off in stock items over at novelkeys.xyz. Next on our list, we have Omnitype. Head on over to omnitype.com slash types where you can currently pick up GMK Symbiote. Very nice purple set theme that is live. But Omnitype Oh, Symbiote ends on the 9th, so you only have two days left. But Omnitype also has tons of in-stock products, such as their uh, plethora of desk mat options. You can purchase some switches, keyboard carrying cases, keycap storage solutions, uh, switch pullers. Check out omnitype.com slash types and use code sweet tay at checkout to save 5% off in-stock items. Next we have Prime Keyboard. Let's head on over to primekb.com slash types, where you can pick up several switches like the Alpaca V2s, uh, Durov V2 stabilizers, some TTC switches, Crytox 205 grade zero lube stations, Check out primekb.com slash types. No keycap set on prime keyboards this month. We also have SwitchMod. Head on over to switchmod.net slash types, or that's, that's where I get all of my lubricants from. Using my affiliate link saves you 4% on all your lube purchases. It's also been a while since Krellbit has run a Swiss set. Kind of sad. But I highly recommend Crytox 205 Grade Zero for your stabilizers, as well as all of Switch Mod lubes for Switch Lubing. Nathan say Symbiote again? Wait, is Symbiote not the right way? I've been saying Symbiote the whole time. Is this symbiote? Symbiote? No way, it's symbiote. Hold on, I gotta look this up now. Sim. Symbiote. Pronunciation. Symbiote. Yeah, I was right, it's symbiote. Did I say it wrong? Symbiote? No, it's definitely not symbiote. <laughs> uh, last but not least, we have Zeal. Head on over to zeopc.net slash types. 
where you could pick up some expensive boutique switches like the Telios V2s if you're in the market for a smooth linear. There's also the Zelios V2 line of switches, which come in different spring weights. There's also silent variants to both of those. Check out the Helios, Roselios, Sacrurios, and Xylent switches over at zopc.net slash types. I forgot that as English. Oh, was there some joke? Was there some pun involved? I missed your text. I'm new to keyboards. Any tips for selecting clicky, tactile, or linear switches? Does it come or does it really just 100% come down to personal preference? Yes, it 100% comes down to personal preference. You might hear things like linear gain, tactile gain, clicky suck all over the internet. F that noise. Oh, sh try out a bunch of switches, figure out what you like. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. I'm just too used to, to British pronunciation. Oh, did you say 205 grade zero for stabs and something else for switches? Uh, you can definitely use 205 grade zero for switches. It's just very thick. It's not the most recommended lube for newcomers because you can uh, ruin switches in a sense with over lubing it. But I, I lube a lot of my switches with 205 grade zero. Out of all of these switch mod lube offerings, 205 grade zero is the only one I would use for stabs. Huh. I live in the UK and I don't even remember hearing, what is that, Symbi, Symbiote? Symbiote, ugh. <laughs> Bite. What do you recommend to buy a switch tester? You can literally get any switch tester. KBD fans has one. You can get one off Amazon. Uh, Novel Keys has one. Hello, Mr. Silk. What's the average switch force? Like something that's not too hard to press and also not too light. 62 gram bottom out is probably the community favorite. What do you think about Yankee movement? I love it. I am for sure going to pick up GMK movement. I actually haven't watched the show though. I have no emotional attachment to movement, but I like the colors and it's cute. Huh? Oh. I never put a switch there. Same, I've never seen it. My wife really likes the keycaps. Mm. Yeah, I know I know it's a I think it's a pretty popular show. Where did I put the switches? Ah here. I watched a little bit of movement. It's very cozy and sweet and kind of mature and good. Poignant sometimes. Ooh, interesting. You don't really you don't really call a show poignant often. I like that.
Do you like disordering? What is disordering? What does that mean? Who lubed those browns? I have no idea. Uh, this was just given to me by Mr. Fox. No clue who lubed these. Okay, let's see if I... Mm, let's see how good these... It is space bars fixed. Oh, we gotta check for caps lock though. Fernand Fernandalian, things were two months. Kaizen Fennec, things were 22. Uh, Kiloton, thank you so much for the eight months. Why does the stream look so low quality for me? That is a ISP diff, my friend. You just have bad internet. What set is that? GMK Oblivion. KBD fans, pretty good company. Yeah, tons of people buy from KBD fans. ISP diff, I don't know what else to tell you. I didn't I didn't mean that to be mean. I'm just saying it's a, it's, the, it's the fault of the ISP. It's not even your fault. Not much you can do about that. What keycaps is the pink one on the right? This is GMK Pingzu. Okay, let's see how his straight caps look is. Looks pretty good to me. Left shift also looks pretty straight. Nice. My camera is too heavy. For what? Are you trying to vlog? Sean, thank you so much for bits. ISP diff choose better, please. <laughs> Got a small tripod. Oh, nice. Why do you have a fan? To uh, extract the solder fumes. Backspace. It's pretty good. Enter. Pretty straight, actually. Right shift could use a little bit more streaming. How important is the ventilation fan? Should I not just do one or do it outside? If you can do it outside, that is highly preferred. Is solder fume toxic? I don't think there's ever been a case of someone dying from too much soldering. Um, obviously it's not the healthiest to inhale it's not the end of the world you don't really need a lot to get it away from you just solder by a window leave your window open um, you can also alternatively use unleaded flux i mean <laughs> unleaded solder uh, which would be which would help it's the yeah it's the flux slash the lead that's dangerous. Your right shift looks good now. Function looks good. I think we're good. 
We are good. Okay, let's see if we missed any switches. Oh, sh shoot. Better connect this to check it. Our pl any good plate mount stabs? Just use cherry plate mount stabs. The flux is actually worse than the lead. Oh, some companies found that moving to lead-free solder back in the day caused more health issues than lead itself. Oh, interesting. Okay, I have not heard that. That is good to know. Let's bring on Via. Pachi. H60. Oh, let's configure this layout. Hold on, 7U win keyless. Split and right shift. What is this default layout? Holy crap, what? Why is this <laughs> pass through? Backspace, tab, left control, left windows, left alt. Uh, let's make that momentary one. Does Fox ever type in Korean? Let's just do it. Left, right control, sure. Oh dear, what the... In that... Oh. Where's the function? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Put caps law. Play? Okay, sure. Oh! I'm gonna wait a minute. Oh, okay, that was that was just the case. It was shorting on the case. <laughs> I had a had a heart scare for a moment. Okay, woo! The uh, board works fine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Be right back. Is that the Via software? Yes, it is. Actually, remove this for now. Need to install gummy O ring. Mr. Tony, hello. Oh, where to find the sugar mommy? Dude, same. I've actually met some people that have like sugar daddies and mommies. It's pretty crazy how they make money. <laughs> Man, no cap. If someone was willing to be my sugar mommy or daddy, I might take one. Assuming nothing sexual. Gusco, thank you so much for the 17 months. Can you be my sugar mommy? Tony, how about you be my sugar daddy? I hear Tony's got that dank Tesla. <laughs> Mr. Zekin, hello. Zekin, am I seeing you soon? We had a good time. Two years ago, was that two years ago? Yeah. 
I have something you might like. <laughs> yes, you are? All right, bet. Okay, gummy o-ring has been installed. Let's plug this back. Route. Condensation from the iced coffee is drooping. Oh, okay, this is kind of interesting. I don't know if I've seen other... There's like... Oh wait, it's still on manual focus. So, I mean, the plate itself has these tabs, but then despite being a gummy O-ring, there's actually tabs kind of acts as alignment also i guess a little place for it to rest on interesting interesting so this is now a i think this is the fourth gummy o-ring mount 60 percent i have tried there's, oh, just kidding, fifth. I've tried the OTD Mini, the Gasket Double O, Ogre, and now this. Oh no, Unicorn. Oh, just kidding. Oh yeah, five, yeah, I said five, yeah. Are there others? Oh, and the K, right, K. K also is O-ring Gasket, you're right. You guys are right. <laughs> oh crap, Gura? Yes, Gura too. I forgot. I forgot about the Gura. I forgot that was a 60%. <laughs> In my mind, it was a 65 for some reason. But yes, there's also the Gura. Uh, didn't you just stream last night? Yes, I did. Unicorn's best at 60? The Unicorn, I will say the Unicorn definitely feels the most different out of the five that I've tried. Uh, it, it is a slightly different internal mechanism, so no surprise there. You forgot because who cares about weaves and VTubers? Okay, that it. Soran does not speak for me. I don't have anything against weaves and VTubers. I just. My memory is getting bad. <laughs> I'm getting old. Sean, thanks for the bits again. Looking for Tony Cajun to carry me like a bride. What? Tony's pretty strong though. I think he could pick up Sean. Tony, Tony definitely lifts. He could beat someone up easily. So you're saying you're a VTuber stan. I'm not saying I'm a stan. I'm just saying I have nothing against him. No judgment if you like VTubers. Okay, chat. What keycaps have to put on this? White on black? Can you call yourself a weeb without hating other weebs? I don't consider myself a weeb. Did you see Tony during university? Oh, I haven't. Any, any university Tony picks avail? Hinges anime, not a weed. That is correct. Right. K pop equivalent to weed. Korea boo. I 
I don't think there's a word for people who are into Korean manhwa. Manhwa, manhwa is probably the equivalent of like Japanese anime. Yeah, Karibu is more for like people who just want, who like K-pop culture, which is different, but. Maybe Queebs? <laughs> Queebs. Should I just yoink the Pinzu from this? Pinzu do be looking nice though. Isn't Manhwag part of Korean culture? It, it is part of Korean culture, but I think Korea Boo specifically is meant to denote people who are big into K-pop. I could be wrong, I don't know. Maybe Korea Boo just means anything Korean. I never actually looked up the official Definition of Korean. Manhwa is underrated. They're getting so good now. Yeah, I feel like... I feel like no manhwa has taken off like solo leveling has. I know so many people who read solo leveling. And everyone speaks pretty highly of solo leveling. Solo leveling is great. I don't read it, but yeah, I hear great stuff about it. Why are there all these key? Why are all these keys here? Answer Sean's question. Wait, what was Sean's question? What did he ask? I don't know his name, but there's a person on TikTok. Oh. Uh, Ollie London, I think. Oh, that that guy is pretty cringe. Let me tell you. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, as this guy, Ollie London, he has he has so much hate. I think fairly deserved. If you guys want a dose of cringe. Just look up Ollie London's videos. <laughs> okay, what keycap set chat? You guys still haven't decided. Am I just going to transfer Pingzu over? How did he manage to offend Koreans out and the LGBT community at the same time? <laughs> I'm gonna yoink Fox's pink zoo. Ollie says he identifies as Jimin like one does as a gender. Yeah, he says he identifies as Korean and Jimin. He says he's the first one to come out as Jimin. And I'm just like, what? How do you... <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> His latest video? Oh my goodness. It was Omega cringe. You just can't self-identify as a race. Never mind. I mean, not even that. He self-identifies as a K-pop idol. <laughs> Does keycap Polar damage the keycaps. It does not.
without knowing anything about Korean culture or the language. <laughs> Anyway, cucks like Shapiro, oh, Ben Shapiro, uses that person to ridicule actual trans people. Yeah, Ollie. I don't even know how Ollie London has a following. <laughs> if I had to guess, maybe like 90% of his followers are following him because they hate him and just want to see what he does next to watch him burn. But this, the scary thing is that there's like an actual 10% of people. Well, I'm just throwing out numbers that actually, actually like the guy. I'm very glad that they're running Pingsu round two. The set is so nice. Yeah, I agree. Pingsu, Pingsu is a very nice set. Um, it had a lot of hype when it was announced, and it, I think the set turned out great. What is this keycap set? This is Pingzu. It's not scraping. Is GMK Pingsu round two worth getting even with the lead times? Mm, I mean, that's up to you to decide. <laughs> Any GMK set that runs right now, it's, they're all gonna face the same fate. It's not just GMK Ping, it's not exclusive to GMK Pingsu. So then you would make that argument for any keycap set that runs. I, I say if you like the set, Get GMK Pingzu. Pingzu looks very nice in person. Like no bant, Pingzu was one of my favorite sets that released during the year. Or whenever it ran, it was one of my favorite sets. They are the same fate, you mean flipping? No, I mean lead times. Every set's gonna get flipped. Has there been any GMK set that hasn't appreciated after its release within the past year? White on black? All right, excluding white on black. Excluding white on black, GMK Carbon? Wait, did the latest round of Carbon ship? Okay, excluding drop sets. Let, let, let's let leave drop sets out of the picture. Because drop continually restocks. Handerbite has appreciated. It has not depreciated. Nautilus? Okay, I don't count Nautilus because... Wait. Yeah, it's a rerun. It's a, it's a... Any round one sets have any of them not appreciated within the past year. Nautilus, Triumph, Adler, Laser, they're all on multiple rounds. I don't count those. Like if you're on round three, four, like you sh at that point, you shouldn't really be expecting it to appreciate. There's so many sets of those out there. The Solarize Dark count? It's different, right? <laughs> Bleached hasn't really appreciated. Okay, Bleached also was just a white set though. It's just ex like act like a non-minimal set, let's say. <laughs> Lukey Dookie, welcome back for 10 months. Alright. Wait, 
this sounds kind of nice. We have finished building the GS by Mr. Fox box. This is what it looks like from the top. This is from the side. Look at that front lip. I like it. I wonder, is this curve visible from the side when you're using it? Oh, actually it's, it's pretty visible. I feel like it would have been nicer if it was slightly, if the curve was a little bit more aggressive, but it's, it's pretty nice. This is the bottom. I think this might be one of my favorite weights yet. That's pretty cute. I like that. Ooh, it would have been cuter if they, if Fox, is Fox listening? Can you also add like a little heart? Like cut off at the wrist and then lower this and then actually add like a, a cutesy heart. That'd be pretty cute. Ooh, if you can add a cutesy heart and then like infill it with red, that'd be icing on the cake. Yeah, a red little heart, that'd be cute. This is back. That'd be too much. No, I think it'd be, I think it would work. TT Heart Edition? Can I, can I get a custom unit? <laughs> I'll be the guinea pig. That's a pretty nice pack. That USB port, ooh. Oh, what's the weight? Yes, let us weigh this. This is, I mean, not that this weight really matters since this, this won't be a public group buy as far as I know. It's very limited. But completely built this weighs. 1,218 grams. Just shy of three pounds. What if each board had a different colored heart? Ooh, that'd be pretty sick. That would, that would add flip value to this. Looking for Fox Box GS Blue Heart Edition. Have PayPal $7,000 want GS Blue Heart. Dibs on Black Heart, ooh, Black Heart Edition, 10K. <laughs> All right. Do we have mods? Can we open up the casino and the bot? I'm not made out of money, bro. <laughs> if I can get a red heart though, I, I will pay for the proto cost, Fox. Oh wait, why is that blue? Oh, my wallpaper died. Okay. Three. I kind of want to show the finger heart though. Ah, you can't really see the, oh, it's too small. Three, two, what? You didn't turn on the bot? Wait. Oh, I didn't. I did not. Load. Where's the bot? Bot is live. Bus and hello, Mr. Knowledge. Good morning. Does it matter? Bot won't count your guesses. What do you mean? My bot works. Actually, to be fair, it has bugged out several times. Um, every time the, every time Tyler like updates his website or something, 
it, it changes. <laughs> we'll leave this out here for display. And turn off the music. Point the mic down. Somewhat texted. Right. This is the GS60 by Mr. Foxbox. Built with Cherry MX Browns, switch foamed, lubed, uh, I believe palm plate, either palm or um wipe, I couldn't tell. I'm gonna guess palm plate. Uh, keycaps are GMK bings you round one. Oh, it's bum wipe plate. Okay, bum wipe plate. Bum wipe full plate. It is gummy o ring mounted. Courtney, hello. <laughs> Sag. Oh wait, it had noise gate? Oh, it did have noise gate. Wait, 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 wait. Read the read the read the read the It had noise gate on. Whoops. Hold on. Ah, I forgot. <laughs> okay, read the read the read We'll open up casino again one more time. Because I had noise gate on. I like this. This board is very nice. This is P bad. No, no, I, I had a, I had noise gate on. I had the noise gate on the box. I have turned it off now. It should sound much better. Okay, I I, I opened up the casino. <laughs> okay, that was a. Just consider that a practice run. All right, it was a noise gate dip. That's why I typed so slowly. Now that noise gate is off, I will break the one forty five. Dodo, welcome back for 10 months. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. Hello. Okay. What is the spread? 37% <laughs> belief. Here we go. Please type fast. Do you believe Tony? I don't know what blue is. He, he went blue. Okay, noise gate is off. Let me just confirm. Yes, it is off.
No, no. <laughs> that was an Omega choke. <laughs> I got too cocky. Oh, I thought I was gonna break 145 for sure. All right, we'll, we'll do one more. Hold on, these, <laughs> these, are, these are what the mods sound like. We'll do one more. I was going to break 150. I know. I held 149 until 53 seconds. That was actually one of the better runs I've done. This actually sounds really nice. Um, you might hear some of the scratch, like white noise. They're not the smoothest browns I've tried, but it's, it's, it's decent. I, my browns are definitely smoother, but this is pretty nice. I really like this. It's, it's, it's a very clacky brown, but it's not like an annoying clack. Typing feel wise. The whole board bounces. <laughs> Why is the board bounce? Maybe it's just a desk mat. Do you like Ali or Umwipe? I can't compare. I don't think I've tried Browns and Umwipe. This is the first time trying Browns on Umwipe. But it sounds pretty good. Like it's not bad at all. I really like this. Typing feel wise is very comfortable. Maybe I'm maybe I'm converted. I also really like my browns in the uh, polycarb plate on my 280. I think for browns, going with a plastic plate is the move. I do like how this sounds much better than on the aluminum plate. Linears, I would still go aluminum, but this this doesn't sound bad at all, and it feels great. It feels comfortable. Bar has got to pop. I like push ups. Okay, I'll do push ups and then we'll do one more typing test. One more typing test. How many push ups do I have? Oh my goodness, there's 30 push ups to do. Fox claimed push ups 16 hours ago. Wait, that was yesterday. Okay, I'll do it right now. Is seventh here? I'm guessing Schmen Cat's here. I'll do that. Is seventh here? If not, I'll just do 20 push ups. I'm a dope 20 push ups and then I'm gonna break 150. Just watch. Alright, I don't see Sh seventh. I'm gonna refund seventh. Here we go. 20 push ups. I dope. And we're gonna go to the moon. Okay, we'll do one more. Let's not plug it. We'll do one more prediction. So place your predictions while the 20 push-ups. I can bring out my Noxary to compare how the browns sound. <sighs> Pause the music. Point it down. All right, this is the run. This is the run. 
What's the, what's the spread? 28% believe. Nice. All right. It's going to be a fat payout. Just watch. Raise my chair a little. This is going to be the fattest of payouts ever in Tia Types history. So hands laughing. All right, just watch. Oh crap, we do. Can I get one redo? Can I redo this? Can I get one redo? <laughs> let me get one redo. <laughs> Come on, let me redo once. <sighs> Fine. Wait, Soran did say best of five today. This is my third run. Soran said best of five. I get two more chances technically. Yeah, so can I redo this? Three loses, you idiot? No! Fine. I blame Fox's lube job. Blame Fox's lube job. That's why I couldn't break 145. <laughs> it's all Fox's fault. Another day, I'll break 145. Cartoon, <laughs> I don't have the strength to do 10 push-ups. I'm gonna refund you, Cartoon. <laughs> All right. Yeah, but I actually really like this. We had an agreement. No, I think this is, like even disregarding the fact that this is Fox's first board, this is, this is great. I would buy, well, depending on the price point, I would buy this for sure. Um, I mean, I would, I would, if I can, I will buy a unit just to support Fox, but uh, if he wasn't a friend, if the price point was right, I think this is actually a fantastic board. Gummy O-ring mount, I think it's a uh, tried and proven mounting system for a 60%. <clears throat> I think the market speaks for itself. A lot of these gummy O-ring 60% tend to go for high prices, so this is nice. Yeah, design-wise, I would have I would have maybe made this more pronounced. I don't know. Maybe maybe Fox likes him a little thick. He likes he likes some girth. You know, it's not all about the curve. I love the back though. This back is beautiful. I like when the back is clean, when the USB port is not too recessed. No bent. One of my favorite weights. I mean, it's, it's simple, but it works. I like it. Yeah, overall, very nice design. Not too hard to assemble either. Very, very simple. I like it. Now, the, the final, final part of the formula is price point. <laughs> I think it's interesting, a thick side of the electric curve. Yeah, it definitely is. I think amongst all the boards that I've seen with the uh, Koala-esque side profile, this is definitely... Uh, different in that the curve isn't as aggressive and it's thicker. So it, I would I would say it's different in that sense Well, I mean once again, this is also just my personal taste. This is Fox's board. So 
This was made to his preferences, his specifications. And that's all that matters. Alu prices are higher. Let me bring out my uh, Noxary 280. <clears throat> okay. So this is this is not uh, this is not scientific at all. Very different builds but just to give you a sense of what MX Browns can sound like. This is a bum wipe plate, gummy o-ring mount. This is a top mount. What did I build this with? Oh, five mil polycarp plate. Also PBT keycaps, ABS keycaps. Wow, chat likes Foxes better. All right, Fox, next hype keyboard designer. Let's go. <laughs> it's very interesting. This almost, like I know, I know it's a meme. This almost, Fox's board almost makes these browns sound like linears. Like if you told me these were MX blacks, without feeling it, I might believe you. <laughs> If there was a type test and he called these MX Blacks, it almost sounds like a Cherry MX Linear. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. I like how MX Blacks sound. Not at all? What do you mean? You're, you're being biased with the fact that you know there's MX Browns in here. If you had no preconceived notion this was a Linear in here, you might believe it. Once again, just to show, everything wildly affects the sound of a board. There's no way to predict. You can achieve a variety of sounds. Just gotta work towards getting a sound that you like. Are those CRPs? Yes, these are CRP. This is PBT, this is ABS, very different. Even Cheetos affect the sound of a board. Yes, it does. Cheetos can affect your sound. Yeah, this is the aluminum plates build with MX Blacks. Uh, we did do a typing test of this in the beginning of the stream, so if you guys wanna AB test it, check the VOD when it comes out tomorrow. Does the GS have a weight on the bottom? Yes. All right. That is it for today's build. Nathan, what? Um, I don't think I'm going to stream. Maybe, no, I don't think I'm gonna stream. Clarification, I'm not a designer. Oh, okay, there you go. Fox said it himself. Clarification, Fox is not a designer. He's a photographer. If you have any photo work you need done, consider checking out foxbox.com slash photography. I'm just kidding, that's not actually the website. Uh, I, but Fox is actually a great photographer. <laughs> commission designed, oh, okay. Clarification chat, this is commission designed. Commission, design commission. There you go. Nevertheless, it's a pretty nice board. I would, I think I would, Highly recommend it, assuming there's a group buy for it, assuming the price is right. All right. Please no wedding. Oh yeah, any of you guys getting wedding or married chat? Hit up Foxbox. He's the best wedding photographer I know. He only shoots 
with the most expensive gear too, he's the best. Um, Korean hair? Yeah, I've been, I've been curling my hair in the mornings to give myself volume. Did you hear about Keychron Q1? Uh, Keychron Q1? I think I've seen it. I haven't tried it. Do you shoot weddings? No, I don't shoot. I don't shoot at all. <laughs> okay, let's see who is live. What the heck? I'm on knowledge. Wait, this isn't even the current stream. This is an old stream. Oh, he stopped. Oh, he's showing off his keyboard down there. What the? Oh, nice keyboard. Okay, who to rate chat? Let's see who's live. Oh, let's give Mr. Sam a rate. Should we give Sam a rate? He's using music. Ooh, he's using music. If you guys don't know Sam, you guys should. He is a uh, musical genius. He's also kind of OG on YouTube. He has some nice tracks. He has also been working on putting out um, DMCA free music that you can play on streams using your videos. So we'll give him a raid. What should our raid message be? Thank you for your music. Teha OMG, Teha types, raid, Teha keyboard. Raid Courtney? We raided Courtney last week. So we'll raid someone else. All right, have fun in Mr. Sam's chat. I'm gonna go, oh, I can't eat yet, it's only one, but I'll see you guys either, maybe on Friday, we'll see if I wanna stream my hair dyeing. Otherwise, next week, regular times. All right. Bugs six bunny, Bugs bunny, they're gonna two months. Hair dye, woo, yeah. Oh, you're just gonna miss it. Cause I'm gonna get done on, oh, I guess maybe I'll see you. I'll probably see you sometime. All right, have fun in Sam's stream. Bye-bye. See you Friday? Yeah, maybe. 